Pastor Vince Schott from Glad Tidings right here, you know, in beautiful Vancouver, British Columbia. I have been so thrilled with how many of you have come to the church. What an honor. There is a tremendous presence of God. The Word of God is primary. The elders, the trustees, the deacons, the staff are in unity. And God's pouring His blessing out on Glad Tidings. Sunday mornings at 10.30 and then Wednesday night at 7 o'clock, 3, 4, 5, 6, Fraser Street, right here in Vancouver. Yeah, I've got a great announcement. One of the upcoming evangelists on the planet, a young man from Germany, Waldemir, is coming to Glad Tidings. You need to be here. Listen to me. Take a day off. Come to Glad Tidings. He'll be here Sunday morning, the 21st of July. They'll put it on the screen, the 21st. Then he'll be here Sunday night at 6 o'clock, and then he's going to stay to Wednesday night. God's hand is on him. He just got back from Ethiopia. They thought there'd be about 2,000 people. 20,000 people came, signs and wonders. And we're going to get behind this young man, and he had real wisdom. He married a Canadian girl. So he's going to be with us on July 21st, and then also in the morning, evening, and Wednesday night. So you'll be here. I've got lots of pastors coming, lots of friends coming from all over the United States. It's going to be a very unique time. You're going to see a shift take place where God is going to use this man in incredible ways, and we get to be a part. Well, today I have a tremendous word for you. Who is this one Jesus? He said, if you've seen me, you've seen the Father. He's the great I am. God introduced himself to people as I am everything you've ever needed. I am the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Whatever I did for them, I'm able to do for you. Open your heart, open your mind, call a friend. Let's get into the Word of God and learn about the great I Am. Come on, make some noise! Ginu kaluguranda ka, Jesus, ika yung kanakong tagapagligtas. Mahal ko si Shos, and siya yung tagapagligtas ko. Wa ay Yesu, yung ay tasyo wala jiu-jiu. Saya mengasihi Yesus Kristus. Yesus Kristus, Tuhan dan penyelamatku. I love Jesus and He is my Lord and Savior. Namogu te in sagi hao ma mogu tawi nao. Koyam wotse kumatse anos. My friend Jesus is going to look at you. Maybe you also have a problem. And you are carrying a mantle. And this mantle represents your past. Did you know that we serve a mighty God? Did you know that God is mighty and He is mighty to save? A young up-and-coming German evangelist, Waldemar, who is spreading the gospel throughout the nation of Africa, will be joining us here right here at Glad Tidings on July 21st at 10.30 a.m. and then July 21st, the same day at 6 p.m. You know, why don't we come together and partner with God and witness and see what God is doing around the nations? But also, why don't we come together and see signs and wonders and miracles happening right here in our midst. We are so excited for this day. We are so excited for this gathering. And we can't wait to see you here at Glide Tidings Church. Think about Moses. He was going to be the next Pharaoh, and then he's a running murderer. He's on the backside of a desert, listen to me, working for his father-in-law. That's what you want to do when you're middle age have minimum income in working for your father-in-law. His life was literally wasted. And then God showed up on the backside of the desert. I want to let you know, some of you are on the backside of the desert, but God knows your address. He knows where you're at. 
And his promises are still true, even though it appears you're further away from the promises from the day you heard it. And then he introduced himself in Exodus chapter 3, verse 14. He says, I am who I am. I am the God of Israel. And go tell my people that I am is on the scene. And then it goes on. Listen to Exodus chapter 3, verse 7 and 8. He promises you this. I have seen your oppression. I have seen your problems that are not solvable with man's wisdom. You are under it. You can't get your breath. You can't get any strength. And God says, I have seen your oppression. And then he said, I've heard your cry or your prayer. And some of you, I want you to know where you're at is not who you are. What's happened to you will not define who you are. And God says, I've heard you. There's a cry inside of you. God, do you have something for me? Do you have something for my children and grandchildren? God says, I've heard that. I've heard your cry. And then it says this, and I know your sorrow. This is a different kind of sorrow in the Hebrew. It's a sorrow that means you'll never, ever, ever, under any circumstance, get over it. It's a pain so great you can't see life clearly. And God says this, I know your sorrow. I know your heartache. I've had so many people come my way and they never thought they could have a tomorrow. They never thought they could dream again. They never thought their heads could be lifted again. They never thought they could have optimism. I've been there before. And you're there right now. This sorrow occupies all of your energy just to breathe another breath. And God says, I've seen, I hear, and I understand your sorrow. But in verse 8, Exodus 3, he said, I'm going to deliver you out of where you're at. God is going to deliver you. I don't know how. I don't know exactly when, but he's the God that delivers people from impossible situations. And you're in a situation you can't believe what your husband has done, what he's done to you. The shame that you feel has caused you not to be able to function, not to think right. You're simply in a place, how am I going to make it another moment, another day? And God says, I'm going to deliver you. He declares in his word, this is not going to be your lot in life. And then he promises, I'm going to bring you up out of it. I'm going to bring you up and out of it. The people you counted on, the people you thought would help you, they have no intention to help you, and you can't count on them. But you can count on Jesus. Regardless where you're at, listen to me, you can count on Jesus. I'm going to bring you up and out of this thing. And then he makes this promise. He says, a good and a large land, a land flowing with milk and honey. What's this word milk and honey? I think of milk being left out and it smells. I think of honey is sticky. But the Bible says milk and honey represent salvation, eternal life, promise, abundance, multiplication, nourishment, divine provision, and a time and a place of rest. And God is going to bring you up and out. He's going to bring you to a place where you can dream again, hope again, believe again. You see, Jesus came for the broken. He came for the guilty like me and like you. And he shows his incredible, incredible love and power. And today you've got something that's holding you back. Your conscience, your choices, and you said, my life is over, not with Jesus. See, the thief comes in John 10, 10, to kill and to steal and destroy. He wants to whisper in you, you're stuck in this situation forever. But Jesus said this, I've come too. And I've come to give you a quality of life. A life where you're not just trying to make it another moment, but a life where God's been so good to you you can help others. I'm Pastor Vince Schott from Glad Tidings. We're going to have a time in the Word of God. I'll be right back. Come on, make some noise. Hey. 
My name is Clyde. Do you want to know more about Jesus? Well, you should come on over to Glad Tidings Youth at Wednesdays at 7 p.m. Be sure to come there. Hi, my name is Shekinah. I'm in grade 12. I'm 17 years old, and I attend Matthew McNair Secondary. Did you know that many people around the world are stripped of their basic human rights and freedom to religion? And many do not know who God is or have a relationship with Him? I am blessed to live in a country that allows me to have these rights and attend a church with my family. I love the Children's Church here. I love watching my kids grow the relationship with God. My son said to me, Mom, I feel God here and I love that. Please come and visit with your kids Sunday mornings at 10.30 a.m. at Glad Tidings. We are Glad Tidings Church, located right here in Vancouver, British Columbia. This is a house of praise and worship. Go to our Facebook page at Glad Tidings Church, Vancouver, BC. There you can find that our services are live streamed every Sunday morning at 10.30, every Wednesday night at 7 p.m. And you'll also be able to find a lot of other events that are happening here at Glad Tidings Church. Everybody needs a church home. I'm Pastor Vince Schott of Glad Tidings here in Vancouver. If you're within driving distance, you need to come back to the house of God. The enemy has lured you out, life's busyness and responsibilities, and before you know it, you're out. But God's house is God's plan. Isaiah 2.2, 2, here's what it says, In the last days, the house of the Lord will be established. It'll be raised above the hill, the hills, the nations will stream to it, and out of the house will come the word of the Lord. You know, I'm in a, really just in shock that we are broadcasting the goodness of the kingdom of God across all of Canada. We are in so many nations now, bringing the gospel, encouraging pastors, and helping them. 24.8% of our total income went directly to the mission field. And God's raised this house up again. And we can't do it without the right people. People like you. If you don't have a home, I want you to come to Glad Tidings. I personally invite you. If you have a home, I want you to serve, pray, tithe, and support your pastor. We don't want anybody from other churches. We want every church to flourish. We're not here to steal sheep. We're here to steal people who the enemies grab a hold of. God is incredible. I come here on a Sunday morning, the choir is singing the praises of God. The worship is heavenly. And I have to pinch myself. I'm the pastor of glad tidings. Well, back in the word of God, God identified himself to Moses. I am all you need. I am everything I did for Abraham. I'm that to you. Everything I did for Isaac, I'm that to you. And everything I did for Jacob or Israel, I am that to you. And God's declaring his name, I am. Now let's look at his name here. When he says, I am, it means he's bigger than any problem, any circumstance, in any situation. One of the I am's, I am Jehovah Jireh. Where's that in the Bible, Pastor Shot? Genesis 22, 14. Our provider. I telling you today, I've seen God provide uh, uh, in incredible situations. He provides for families. He provides, listen, preachers, he provides for real ministry. Money follows ministry. Write it down. Money follows ministry. He provides for business people. God provides supernaturally. He provides. And he identified himself and he said, tell the people I am the God who provides. I am who I am. And my name is Jehovah Jireh. I'm the provider. Another identification is found in Exodus 15, 26, Rapha. What is that? He heals. God heals. So, Pastor, do you believe in doctors? Absolutely, I believe in doctors. God uses them uh, for healing. Do I believe in divine healing on the spot? Absolutely. I've seen it with my own eyes. I've experienced it. My beautiful daughter-in-law, married to my youngest son, is in medical school right now. 
And she just completed her sixth year. So she's got, I think, five more to go. And I thank God for the ministry that she'll have and my son will have. But I want to let you know, regardless of your condition, God heals. He can bring a miracle to you. He said, tell them I am the God, Rapha, who heals. Tell my people that I still do miracles. Tell my people I still intervene. Tell my people I am the God that heals. Now I want to give you this next game. He says, I am. Tell them the people I am. I am the Lord Nisi. What is that, Pastor Shot? Exodus 17, 15. I'm the God of the banner over you. Many, many times Jerusalem was taken over by foreign armies. And when they saw the flag up, the star David, it says his banner over me is love. That God gave the people of God a victory where they had defeat. God gave God's people a banner declaring the land is yours, the promises are yours again. When they saw the star David on the flag, they, he declared, I am the God of battles who gives you victory. And I want to stop right now. Some of you are in a real battle. You're in the battle that you don't know how it's going to turn out. And if you lose, you're saying, I'll never be the same. I'll never recover. I want to let you know, tell the people, Vince, that he is Nisi. He's the God who gives you victory in impossible battles. I feel really stirred in my heart. Some of you are in a battle and you just lost faith. It's been so long and so difficult. And you said, I'm never going to have a life. Father, in the name of Jesus, help these beautiful people. They're in the battle of their life. And Lord, I declare, give them victory. Give them supernatural victories. Come on, use your faith. Say, Lord, give me a victory here. And your name will be on my life all the days of my life. Victory where there was certain defeat in Jesus' name. Wow. You receive this. I am the God of victory. I'm Pastor Vince Schott. I'll be right back. Come on, put your hands together. Hi, I'm Pastor Jody Ann Schott, and I just want you to know we are having a blast at Glad Tidings. We have incredible praise and worship. Pastor gives great words. We have youth. We have children. We have fellowship. We have Bible studies. We have the joy of the Lord. You will have a great time if you come and check us out. We guarantee it. Sunday mornings at 1030 a.m. and 7 o'clock on Wednesday nights. Come check us out. Life groups are alive here at Glad Tidings Church. And if you're a young adult, age 18 to 35, then we encourage you to come join us Fridays at 7 p.m. We gather together, worship, eat a meal, and we even discuss notes from the pastor's message. We encourage you to come and get connected in community with other young adults here at Glad Tidings Church. Come on, put your hands together! I want to commend and thank the Glad Tidings family. You know we never ask for money. And our beautiful people bring their tithes and their offerings and pay for this completely. They pay for all the airtime. The beautiful people at Glad Tidings pay for all the cameras, everything we need, they pay for it. And this is a part of you. Together we're speaking across all of beautiful Canada. And by God's mercy and God's grace, I get to be a part of Canada. My wife and I just received our permanent residency. And I want to be really honest with you. We love Canada. And I know some of you, you, know, you live here, well, I want to complain about this, complain about that. It's a phenomenal place. And we have the freedom in Canada to express our faith in Jesus. That's just so incredible. You know, many nations, you can't do it. It's impossible, but here there's freedom for all the religions just to declare their faith. We declare Jesus. I want to thank God for Canada, and we're just honored to be here. We get to be a little part of Canada. We just are so grateful. In Ezekiel chapter 36, this is going to be a little heady for you, verse 22. God said, I dispersed you because my name was no longer foremost. You bragged about what you did. You boasted in your name, but you forgot about my name, so I released you, and enemy nations came and took you captive. And God said, but here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to bring you back to the promise and the promised land, 
but this time it's going to be different. Ezekiel 36, verse 22. Just listen to this. I do not do this for your sake, huh? but for my holy name's sake. Now meditate on that. I do not do this for you. I do it for my name. When God said, I am, what happened was the names of God were taken off the mouth and the hearts of the people. And now they were miserable and they were slaves. And God said, I'm not going to do it for you. I'm going to do it so my name will be on you the rest of your life. For those of you that have had battles that you couldn't win, but you won, say it with me. He's my banner. He's my Nissi. For those of you that were sick in your body, now you're healthy, say it. He's Rafa. He's my healer. For those of you that were broken out of money, and you had to live with relatives in your 50s because you couldn't make ends meet. Now you have your own place in your own life, in your own finances, and you have all your needs met. Say it. He is Jehovah Jireh. He's the God that's provided for me. Your problems, your situations is a place where God will put his name on your life. I've got so many areas where the great I am put his name on my life. Really glad tidings. There were great, great people here in years past, but they went into a a real spiritual famine. Not anymore. Not anymore because the name. Some of your businesses aren't going the way they should go, and you're really, really struggling because your name's on the business. Put God's name back on the business. Lord, I'll give you the credit. I'll give you the praise. Your marriage is in trouble. God can restore your marriage. He can give you a heart of stone and give you a heart of flesh and cause you to love like you used to love and care like you used to care and men hear like you used to hear. God wants to put his name back on your life. Let me give you another name. He says, I am the Lord Shalom. Jehovah Shalom. What is this word? My peace. Judges 6.24. He'll give you peace in a place of insanity. When everything is screaming, everything is yelling, everything is out of control, I want to let you know He is Shalom. I've had times I don't know what I'm going to do. God, I'm up, I'm worried, I'm fretting, I'm exhausted, I'm tired, I don't have any strength, and a peace from heaven has come on me. It doesn't matter, baby. You are Jehovah Shalom. Today, you're upset. You're upside down. I speak to you, Jehovah Shalom, a peace that doesn't make sense, a peace that you couldn't earn, you couldn't manufacture, no money, no vacation, no house, nothing could bring this kind of peace. It's a peace from heaven. And the Lord says, I am your peace. I'm Pastor Vince Schott. I'll be back in a moment, but I declare he's your peace. Shalom. Hello. I'm Pastor Israel Pochter. I'm a pastor of Beit Halel Congregation in Israel, in the city of Ashdod. I'm so blessed to be here in Canada with Glad Tidings. And first of all, I want to say thank you, Glad Tidings. You've been such a blessing. It was amazing to see what God is doing on your services. When I preached the word to release God's blessing, God was moving. People were touched. It's so powerful. But also, I received the Lord being here. So really, thank you very much. It's a blessing to learn from, from friends and brothers. And i really blessed by being in Canada. So thank you, Canada. You have so many good people here, good-hearted people, people who live for Jesus. In Hebrew, we say for Yeshua, for his kingdom. You glorify Jesus, and it's just wonderful. It was such a pleasant time to be here with you and see what God is doing in Israel, what God is doing in our land, how he will fulfill in biblical prophecies today, in our time, in our generation, but also to see the deep connection of Canadian Christians with the land of Israel, all the prayers, all the faith, all the excitement. You are real friends of Israel, so thank you very much. And now, saying that, I want to release Hebrew blessing, biblical blessing, so just receive the blessing in the name of the Lord. Ivarechecha Adonai Vishmerecha. Ya er Adonai Panavelecha Vehunech Vehuneka. Isa Adonai Panavelecha Vayasem Lecha Shalom. Beshem Yeshua Hamashiach. 
in the name of Jesus. Be blessed. Shalom. Come on, put your hands together. I am Jehovah Shammah. What is that word? Well, it's found in Ezekiel 48, 35. I am your Shama. I'm with you. You're not alone. I remember being a little boy and my dad had left. I was the only child and my mom was lonely. She put me to bed and she'd wait until I'm asleep and she'd get in her car and leave me in the house all by myself and drive off to some kind of party or something. And she wasn't evil. She was just so lonely. And I remember saying my mom's name as a little boy, mom, knowing she wasn't there. Mom, yell a little louder, talk about mom. And there was no answer. And I'll never forget it as a little boy. God himself came and joined me. I, I, I knew God was with me. I knew Jehovah Shammah is here. And there was such a peace and I would sing songs and sing a language I didn't know. God was with me. And right now in your lonely place, God is with you. He is the Lord Shama. He's truly with you. He truly cares about you. He won't abandon you, leave you. No matter who's left you, a relationship, family members, Shama is with you. And he promises in his word, when he said to Israel, I am, I am Jehovah Shammah. I will never abandon you. I'll never leave you. It wasn't God left you. It was you left God. I don't need you, God. I can handle this, God. I can do it. And you can't. And that's not bad. You're at a place in your life where Shammah will show up. And I declare, those of you that are in rest homes, you wonderful grandmas, and your kids are busy, your grandchildren are busy, you're not alone. The Lord is with you. What should I do, Pastor? Begin to pray for your children again. Begin to pray for your grandchildren again. You're here. We can't be and do this great program without your prayers. Grandma, we need your prayers. And the Lord will show up and you'll have influence in the spirit realm again. The Bible says he takes the lonely and he puts them in the house of God. We had a, a new lady move in the neighborhood, and here's what she wrote us on the email. I am so lonely. She found her way into this house. Now her hands are lifted, and she has friends all around her. And God promised you this word today. I will not leave you alone. I love you because I love you. I'm Pastor Vince Schott. I want to let you know what a privilege and an honor to be with you. And I declare in Jesus' name, the great I am be with you in Jesus' wonderful name. Hallelujah. Come on, let's sing it. Let's stop the